What? Yes, I have. Uh, oh, this is my app rehash this oh, week. Oh, let's bring in the rehash. Is for Gmote. Gmote. Uh, we reviewed this. I, I don't know what the episode was. I I should have looked it up or something. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a while ago. Uh, yeah. Then the, really, there there hasn't been much of a change to it. Uh, but this is Gmote, spelled G-M-O-T-E, and it is for free. Or there's a download. Uh, you can download a. Uh, a paid version that's just like a donate or whatever. So, uh, but it's pretty pretty simple interface. Uh, this has uh, again just like Orb, it has a program that lives on your computer, and it's like a helper app, you know. Yeah. And uh, this screen is the first screen that starts up, and this is the remote control. Uh, the Gmo helper app on your computer uses a version of uh, VLC. Uh, okay. To let's script it or whatever that mm-hmm. automatically plays stuff full screen, um, but you know very simple stop play pause and then the skip buttons if uh you if like sometimes if you hold it it'll go to like the next one in the same directory. Uh-huh. I mean if you just tap it, but like it also it skips through the, the song or whatever. Yeah. But volume and and mute or you can browse uh through all your different like you you set up what directories you want That's to be cool. able to play. And like if you, uh, let's see. And again, the best stuff to stream is always, uh, you know, uh, animation. And this one, does this do any encoding on the fly? Uh, no. Okay. But this does have a thing on here, uh, where I'm trying to. Oh, it's gonna be in the browse. It says computer, which plays it on your computer, but you also have a phone, uh, one. So. If you have compatible video for your phone, uh, which this one supports MP4 and uh, AVI, but cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up here. This video is not invalid for streaming to this device, so that's the thanks I get. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it also has this uh, newer feature since we reviewed it last time called Web, and this will. Uh, let you open up a uh, like any website on your uh, browser on your computer, and it uh you know like YouTube, Hulu, uh, stuff that's uh, pretty nice for watching videos and stuff. And then you can of course control it uh, using your phone. Yeah. So, and if you don't like the uh, you know the standard uh, video setup or whatever, or for some of the odd uh, jobs you have to do. There's this other option on here called touchpad when you hit menu. And uh, this basically turns the phone into like a, a mouse pad that you just control the mouse oh, using, cool. you know, rubbing on here. And especially handy for phones like this that don't have a physical keyboard is an on-screen keyboard that you can then use to input text right on your computer. Nice. So it's a uh, it's That's cool especially stuff. useful if you have like a TV hooked up, like your media center computer. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, and uh, so and then I think that Gmote, uh, ha- it has a Windows, uh, helper app, uh-huh. um, but I think it also has one for Linux too. Oh, cool! So you can set up a really just low cost budget, uh, home computer. Now, one thing know, that kind of computer. One, another thing for the media streaming with this one, it um, like the Orb one we just reviewed does transcoding on the fly. Yeah. So like you can stream it over slower connections. This one doesn't do transcoding. So. No, it's just the full blown file. Yeah. So you have to be careful. But less processor intensive. So depending on yeah. what your setup is, mm-hmm. you know, one can be uh just as good uh for you as the other one. Totally. So and again that's it's called GMO, one word G M O T E. It's free and there's a donate version. Oh cool. So if you likes what you see, mm-hmm. then uh go ahead and throw the developer a few dollars. I like it. It's simple. And it's like I could, like, if he kind of, like, also made this, like, a Google TV compatible thing. Like if yeah, Google well, TV you app, know that when Google, uh, they're gonna have yeah, own. when they have apps, though, for the yeah. Google TV, that this will be on there. Yeah, but you can kind of just transform any TV now, or any computer into a Google TV. With, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. essentially the same setup, pretty pretty nice. Pretty close. <laughs> not, not really, but... Yeah. You can pretend. It's a poor man's Google TV. 